Hello, I'm Malika and today I'm going to be turning this into this. Welcome to Cooking with Gin and today we're going to be making lemon curd but adding a little hint of gin. Enjoy. To make our lemon curd you're going to need 200 grams of granulated sugar, you're going to need three eggs that I've lightly whipped here, uh, we need the zest of three lemons which you'll have here, uh, 200 millilitres of freshly squeezed lemon juice and 120 grams of melted butter. Then the all important bit, 35 millilitres of gin now I've chosen a Brecon Special Reserve Gin here, and we'll be talking about that in just a moment's time. But that's everything you need to make your lemon curd. It's a really easy recipe. If I can follow it, anybody can, I promise you. Because all we're going to do is put everything in here together, and then if you can operate a microwave in one minute spurts, then that's all you're going to need to do. So into our melted butter, which is not warm, that's important, make sure it's not warm. We're going to add our eggs, our sugar, our zest of the lemons, which smells glorious, and our lemon juice. And then um, apparently I've been informed that this is called a measure, uh, so I've measured never done it before, 35 millilitres of gin and that's going in there and then all you've got to do is bring all of that together so you just want to make sure that the sugar has started to dissolve in there and try not to get it all over yourself and that's it. So rather than you spending the rest of the afternoon watching me walking backwards and forwards to the microwave in one minute bursts um, let's talk about the gin, shall we? And I'll put this in the microwave. Let's talk about the gin that we've used to make our lemon curd. Um, it's Penderin, it's Welsh, uh, and they launched in 2001. Uh, and rumour has it, it was because uh, they're whiskey distillers and they needed something to do while waiting for whiskey to do what it does, uh, which is obviously mature in barrels. Um, so um, this is made in a whisky distillery, um, although when we visited it was only bottled in the distillery. Uh, it's, this is the particular one, is the special reserve, um, and they do say you should serve it with lemon, which is why I've used it as part of my lemon curd, because I think it'll take really well to the citrus. So it's got um, 10 botanicals in it, um, and they're very handy, they put them all on the bottle for you. Um, but uh, it's juniper from, from Macedonia, uh, orange peel from Spain, uh, Chinese cassia bark, Sri Lankan licorice, um, uh, Madagascan cinnamon, and cinnamon, you can really smell the cinnamon. You've got French angelica root, Russian coriander, Indian nutmeg, uh, there's things from all over the world, um, that Spanish lemon peel, so that's when we're getting our citrus, and the Italian orish root, so orish is really good at making sure all of those flavours uh, work really well with the alcohol uh, and you get everything. It's a really lovely gin, it's really nicely balanced, there's no uh, burn at the end of it. Um, I quite like drinking this on its own, it makes a really good gin and tonic and obviously it goes really well in uh, lemon curd. Um, it's won many awards, in fact last year um, uh, or this year it won the Gin Masters Gold for the London Dry at the Spirits Business um, uh, Awards. Uh, it also won in uh, 2013 the International Wine and Spirits Competition, it won silver for London Dry. So if you like a London or a contemporary gin, this is the one I go for, it's very nice, enjoy. So there you have it, we've told you how to make the gin, we've told you all about the gin, and now the important bit, let's see what the finished products are like. So, if you can see the consistency, it covers the back of a spoon, and I hate to think how many sins are in this, but... Oh, it's citrus, it's sweet, it's tangy, it packs a punch, and I'm getting hints of juniper in there as well amongst all of those other flavours. So some top tips for you. Make sure you use a microwave bowl, it's very important. Uh, when you're doing your one minute bursts in the microwave, in between each of those, take the lemon curd out and beat it. 
You don't need to go crazy with it, don't worry, it's not a workout, but you do need to make sure you're not making scrambled eggs. If you're used to making custard, it's the same sort of thing. Other than that, this will keep in the fridge for around two weeks, so you have to eat it before then. Don't worry, I've got some friends from the Ministry of Steampunk coming around to help me eat this and all the other things that I'll be cooking during Sanctuary. Thank you very much for joining me.